a deserted island. There's <laughs> ice cream everywhere. The sand is sugar. There's okay. peppermint trees. And Ben is sprinkling powder all over Okay, bye, bye, that's Are you taking yourself? Yes, I'm taking myself. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata. Ain't no pears and craze. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's our problem free. Hakuna Matata I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Hello, Decatur. It's Tuesday. I'm Parker. You're not, and these are your announcements. If you're a student council member, stop by between classes Stevens' touch ins in room 227 for volunteer sign up opportunities that are available this week and next. Homecoming week tomorrow is Superhero Wednesday. Dress in your favorite superhero gear. The first annual DHS Quidditch tournament will be Saturday, November 5th at 1 p.m. If you'd like to participate, please pick up a form in the first or second floor office and nobody's scrolling because my sister went to the door and she's forgetting what she's doing. Thank you, Logan. I work with amateurs. The cost is $10 per person. Team must have eight players and shirts are also available for $15. Student council will sell bells during both lunches Thursday and Friday for the homecoming game. Bells are $5 each. Rodeo team members, if you plan to get off-campus PE credit for rodeo team, please come by the counseling office and get an off-campus PE form from your counselor. You will not get a PE credit for the rodeo team without competing and completing and returning the form. Friday, November 4th is the registration deadline for the December 10th ACT without a late fee and DH has a testing site. Mrs. Martin has a study guide for both tests in the first floor office. Coming soon to a pep rally near you, the Decatur Student Council will host a pie in the face contest Friday, October 21st. At the homecoming pep rally, if you'd like a chance to throw a pie in your favorite teacher's face, see any student council officer in Mrs. Hutchins in room 8, 227 to purchase tickets. $1 per opportunity and $5 for six opportunities. The number of pies thrown will depend on the number of tickets sold. Any freshman or junior that signed up for the PACT needs to stop by the first floor office to pick up their student study guide from Jan Martin. Juniors get those prom points. Now for sports with General Ben. Sports. With gentle bed. Volleyball tonight here versus Gainesville. Now for Coach Park's two cents. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Here comes the sun. And I say it's alright. And remember, DHS, it doesn't matter how educated, cool, rich talented you think you are, how you deal with other people and treat other people, that's your integrity. It's my two cents. God bless America. Have a great day. And someone put, yeah, yeah boy. boy. Someone said, hit me up, secretmeyer at farmersonly.com. And someone threw Harambe for president in our box. He gets my vote. I know you're funny. Oh. And now for the word of the day. Baby, lock the door and turn the lights down low. Get schizophrenia. Schizophrenia. Okay. I didn't know. I've never seen that word spelled. Okay. A psychotic mental illness that is characterized by a distorted view of the real world, by a greatly reduced ability to carry out one's daily tasks and by abnormal ways of thinking, feeling, perceiving, or behaving. Schizophrenia. It's spelled weird. It's spelled how it's supposed to be. Shut up. Logan's doing something. 
The question of the week this week is, if you were stuck on a deserted island with only one person, who would it be? Um, get those answers in on Friday and we'll read them on the news. Not you. <laughs> Definitely not Captain. And someone had a suggestion that said Luke, make Luke Cobb anchor. <laughs> <laughs> this is the funniest suggestion we've ever had in my life. This late in the presidential election, I will now announce my vice presidential candidate, which is Ken Bone. No. No. Which is not Ken Bone. No. It's Sam Bowker. Uh, Sam Bowker is my vice presidential Gross. candidate. No. Call up Bowker 16. Sam, 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 Sam,